Joey Laser, big, crazy match. Semifinals, Zach Horan. First off, you body lock him with like 15 seconds left. You rag down him to the mat. Then what ensues? <laughs> then uh, one of those crazy scrambles that you hear about all the time. Uh, I just knew that I just need to keep moving, keep staying in my positions where I'm good at. And I mean, me and Joe get in those positions all the time. So I mean, I knew what I was looking for. And uh, at the end, I just knew uh, something that Cliff told me was high ankle wins. So at the end of the match, you see me lifting his ankle off the mat. You look at the, you know, you guys are rolling at that point. 25 Peters is in the finals. Joe's in the finals at 33. Did you ride the momentum of that? Oh, always. I always, I think I've ridden the momentum since we started our dual season. I mean, starting off with Peters, and he usually just goes out there and does his thing. And today he had to battle, and, and that showed me, you know, he's, he's, he's there, to, there to battle. And then Joe goes out and does his thing, and then, and you know, it's my turn. You know, I got to step up to the plate. Been injured. You've, you've battled some injuries this year. I don't know if it was elbow, hamstring, a ball. I think a bunch of different ones, right? Yeah. Those were two of them, weren't they? Uh, a couple. Crazy stuff, yeah. right? But, uh, you know, you look at that. Not everybody's healthy going into March. What is the, you know, the sense of urgency for you to fight through this? I mean, it, it, my thing is, you know, this is my last year is all I got. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to win the match, no matter what I have to do. I have to tear my woman arm off. If I have to rip my leg off, whatever I have to do, I'm going to keep battling every position and not give up any easy points. You know, look at that. You look at the crazy scramble at the end there. You know, you end up winning the match. You're in the MAC finals. What's that mean to you? Uh, I mean, I was here last year, so I mean, it's, it's kind of my thing. You know, I got to win this and then move on to nationals. Uh, my, my thing is I'm just going to go out there and do what I've been doing. Have you wrestled Makata yet? Yeah, we wrestled uh, maybe two weeks ago, and he beat me 9-8. to eight. Not being the typical Midwestern guy, being a guy from Georgia. Is that weird, weird for you? Not being a you know a Northern Plains guy or a Midwestern guy. Do you get a do you get a oh, little? I get a bunch of crap from the dude from the guys in the team. They're like, because we were, we were actually talking about like power states and like high schools and like school states that were like dominant in high school. And I was like, oh yeah, Georgia's. Georgia, I mean, the thing is, Georgia's on the rise, and that's that's what's, that's what's exciting is uh, people are doing their thing back home and people are starting to notice. You don't have the Mario or the Luigi mustache like Joe does. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah. You, you had the mullet. You had the mustache. You have all this different. Where'd the mullet go first off? Uh, I told myself, you know, I wasn't having the season I wanted at the beginning of the year. And, uh, I mean, I wasn't wrestling how I should be. And my New Year's resolution was cut it off. New year, new me. Starting over. Start fresh. So the mullet was the sacrificial lamb for it the, was the, the sacrificial season not lamb going the way. Yep. Mustache. Talk about that a little bit. Oh, white trash power. <laughs> Just going all white trashy. It just grows in all like that. So. Do you guys draw any power from the mustaches? <laughs> Obviously. I mean, it probably makes me 10% stronger. 10% stronger? About it. Yeah. Joe's, to... Joe's might be 50. Joe's is insane. Yeah. It's all crazy. It's all like intertwined. <laughs> he and actually this... combs it down. Yeah, I think he might. He might need to. But, you know, when you look at this, you guys haven't, you know, it's your second year in the league. What would it mean to you to, you know, senior year? win the MAC championship as an individual, win it as a team. What would that mean? Uh, it would be awesome. I mean, I remember last year we were sitting here and Missouri was collecting all the hardware. Everything that they possibly could name, Missouri was winning it. And that's something that Doug talked to us about, is that at the end of this, this uh, year we're going to be collecting a lot of hardware, not only individual but team. And uh, we, we claimed the dual team uh, championship for the MAC, and now we're about to take out the individual. And then you look at the Schwab brothers running around crazy. Ask Joe, do you, do you, you know, do you feed off that? Oh, do you like it? Oh, 100%. I mean, Doug is an animal out there when he's in your corner. Doug's jumping around. Mark's got his smart comments that he's saying to you just to keep your head right. Just little things that they'll say, but they'll be yelling the whole time, and you feed off of them. All right, you got anything for the people in Georgia? Um, Cliff, Rope, thanks for everything you guys do. All right, buddy. Good luck tomorrow in the championship. Keep the Panther train rolling. Yep.